gonna be white pumpkin. Everybody, everybody gets to see the cats. Hey now, you're an all-star, get your game on, go play. Hey now, you're a rock star, get the show on, get paid. I know it sounds sordid, but you'll be rewarded when at last I am given my dues with injustice deliciously squared. Be prepared! But thick as you are, pay attention! Welcome back, Mangler 3. I'm here. We're going to continue with another Eden. We are still in the middle of the Apocrypha quest. We will see how that goes. Flip it over to the game. That's not the game. There it is. Alrighty. So, I'm trying to remember what we were supposed to be doing in this. I think they were sending me somewhere. If I run around, they're gonna make me hit something. Alright, maybe shut them. Now, time to put this room to use. I owe it to Master for providing me a place to conduct my research. I'm the guild's sole Arum alchemist. It has to be me to lead the way. What? I'm just acting tough? Don't be ridiculous, I'm perfectly fine. I have like a active quest here. Oh, I have, I have an idea. There's another way to do this. We can do, uh... Mr. Quest somewhere. Okay. Mythos, yeah. No. We went here and we got crushed. Try Butterfly City, Heaven's Cradle. The Pride of Elzion, the highest institute of education in the Ida School. 
Under the watchful eyes of Ida City, there are rumors floating about. Rumors of a kaleidoscope of butterflies covering the skies, mysterious flames in hospital wards, and a white clad figure dancing high above in the sky. Dreams and reality are interweaving while an organization dressed in white uniforms attempts to control the situation. Meanwhile, the girl of Absolute Zero walks alone searching for her own path. The woman in white smiles. Let us sleep in heaven's cradle. It all just could be a dream. Let's go to Elzima. Make sure I have my best army in case I in the fight. And more or less. And I don't see anybody here. Unless it's a different part of Elzion. Let's try Theta. This whole questing situation is pretty pathetic. I don't think this is the same quest. Nope, this is an old quest. Oh my, it's Gentetsu's Mythical Helmet. I can't believe you really returned with it. it. Wasn't easy, I can tell you that. But how'd you manage to get your hands on this? In fact, how did something like this exist now? until now without getting discovered. Well, about that. No. Because it was being used as a pot, no one thought that it might be a helmet. Well, I heard that when mankind moved to Elzion, they brought weapons and other valuables, but not daily items. Which means that one could maybe find these pots or helmets on the surface. <clears throat> so do you think you'll be able to sell it? Your little anecdote makes it sound more legitimate. Either way, they'll be convinced the moment they lay eyes on it. Leave the rest to me. Today's item on the block is a set of Kantetsu armor, helmet, and katana. I thought the katana and armor were fake. A helmet? Kantetsu's helmet exists? I want it. I really, really want it. However... How is it possible that a mythical helmet was discovered just like that? Yeah, it was undiscovered for ages. There's no way a newbie seeker could have found it so easily. A newbie seeker? The one selling it is a silver rank seeker. You have an issue with the ranking system of the foundation. This Aldo guy, he's a new seeker, but he seems to be quite successful. True, you can't be unlicensed and achieve a silver rank. But how on earth did he manage to find the mythical helmet? It was not mythical. The helmet existed all along. Although it was used as a cooking pot. A pot? Look at its perfect shape. The thickness of its steel is uniform, so you can cook food using heat from any direction. Plus it's nice and thin, which makes it easy to wash. These helmets weren't found because they were popular cooking pots. 
and they were left on the surface. I see, the ultimate armor was the ultimate cooking utensil at the same time. This is very interesting. I really want to have one to research. I'd like to cook a dish using that mythical helmet and see how good it tastes. That's so weird. Raise 4800. No, 5000. Seems everything went well this time. Yep. Look, 6,000 rock. That's the most I've ever sold. Here you are. We have tons of seeker points too. We'll achieve gold rank in no time. By the way, I bumped into Sir Mustero at the auction house. He needs our help. He wants us to find a treasure book for him. This sounds like a darn good opportunity. Gino, are you alright? I've used up all my energy on that auction. Believe it or not, I was quite nervous. You need to take some rest. Please take care of yourself. Ah, you're the MVP of the day. I should treat you to lunch next time. I want to know what Mutsuro has to say, so we should go back to the city. Hey, isn't that something wrong? Isn't that Gorg? Who is he with? He's gone. What was that about? I think I know what's going on. Sophia, what's the matter? Wait up, I'm coming with you. Wait, are they leaving the city? So do we have any idea who might be participating in the auction for the toll? There are 76 qualified individuals, and half of them have confirmed their participation in the auction. Oh, and that girl is working with some random seeker called Aldo, and they're about to become qualified participants. Hmm. And are we going to do something about it? It's been dealt with. What's going on? Was Gord, Gord ordered to interfere with us? Why? Let's keep listening to what they have to say. Well, as long as they're paying, they're guests too. Although, if you guys are willing to pay more than that, then that's a different story. An additional fee, huh? I see that you're really in need of money. I thought there was not going to be any crying, Mr. Descendants of the Shiny People. Tell your leader that I'm hoping to hear a positive answer. We should first report back to you know who. Yes, but no matter what he does, nothing has changed. Our great plans were all foretold. So those guys in hoodies were telling the black suits to interfere with us. Who is this descent to the shiny people anyway? 
through zealots claiming themselves to be the heirs of those who wrote the shiny people. Their goal is to obtain the tome and use it for their own ends. And those, these guys, these folks have a connection with those running the auction. Yes, probably they want to get rid of all their competitors so they can win the bid for the tome. Well, I won't let them do that. That book is mine and I'm taking it. Exactly, we'll win that book. For that, we've got to achieve gold rank as soon as we can. Mutsuru has information on treasure, doesn't he? Let's go and find him and see what he has to say. Cynthia must be waiting for us too. I won't let them have my book. The story is mine. There you are. You're eager to meet the rare new cutie, aren't you, eh? Are you saying that you've got information on a new rare treasure? Precisely. I heard that the Kroenix egg is going up at the next auction. The egg is a fossil from ages ago. A group of scientists tried to make it hatch with an artificial incubator, but it didn't work. However, it's been announced recently that there is a possibility the egg may hatch if it's exposed to extreme heat from a natural prisma. Extreme heat from a natural prisma. An environment like that may not exist in this era. Exactly. It is said that these animals used to hatch from the eggs in the magma within a volcano. A legendary animal that hatched in magma. A dragon. Normally, I wouldn't ask such an impossible request, but you guys can't find anything, right? So you can do something about this legendary animal, right? Right, right? All right, all right, all right. You want us to make the egg hatch, right? Precisely. I mean, is there a problem? Considering the amount of intense prisma it's supposed to absorb, I'm expecting this animal to be quite large. No human Elzeon would be able to keep it. In other words, it's not the treasure. That's just a nature of animals. But a part of it, like the nails or fur, should have enough value themselves. I see, a part of an unidentified animal. First, we'll go bid for the Kronix egg at the auction. Yes, based on my estimation, we'll need at least 2400 rock to win the egg. And then we'll have to hatch the egg within a volcano. It sounds like a lot of hassle. I don't mind doing it as long as I can get secret points. I'm going. Sister. Before we can incubate the egg, first we have to win it. There is an egg up for auction, just like Mutsuro said. We'll need at least 2400. 
We're sure to win it. Let's put in a bit. Welcome, what can I do for you today? We'd like to take part in the auction. You're exhibiting a Kronix egg, right? Certainly. Then I'll take care of your license. Please wait a moment. All done, entry complete. Enjoy the auction. This is our item today, Chronic Save. Our starting bid is 100, 200, 300, 600. Anything else? Don't even think about coming at me. Nothing is going to stop me from winning this. I'll win this slog of a battle. This one's got a reputation for not giving up. You might think you've won, but they'll come back. First, let's build up our willpower, then attack them when the time is right. Alright, I don't remember how to win this, so it was interesting. We'll just can't. got enough willpower, it's time to strike. My turn. Got enough willpower, it's time to strike. If we go all in, I don't think we'd win. They still have three health. This is resist. This is resist on everything. Just use standard. I want it all, I want it all, I want it all, and I want it now. She's doing the rest. Okay, she's it. Really low on that energy. Let me the last of their motivation and the win is yours. Do this, we still have some energy if we do this. I'm not giving up just yet. Now she's out. Oh, I'm out too.
Or it may look like he's out of motivation, but he's holding on. Finish this now or else. I'll do a half-baked attack, then they'll gain the advantage. You gotta choose your moment. Can't do all in yet. Oh, I need five to do it all in. before the price gets too high. There we go. That's how we finish them off. And she's gone. We have a winner. Nice. Got the winning bid. Price was fair. That concludes today's auction. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon. I imagine that egg would be prettier than this. Looks more like a rock than an egg. It said incubate in volcano lava. That must be Nadara volcano from antiquity. Let's go. Their sin. <laughs> eh, not even worth mentioning. Oops. Eh, not even worth mentioning. Target confirmed today. <laughs> Everything is for the divine. again. Everything is for the divine. Never in doubt. Tempted to fight this thing. Oh. Let's go fight it first. Well, 
Would you get a load of this bloke? Got a dragon claw. And leaf bangle too. Um, I'm sure somebody can wear that. Not one of these guys, the leaf bangle, that sounds Everything is for the divine. I'll expose their sins. Ah, oh, the trial is over. It's so hot. How's a shut in like me supposed to handle this? But the egg should incubate here. Let's do this, Alda. Yeah. How are you gonna pick it up? You just wait till it hatches? With a net or something? That's a dinosaur egg. Is it okay? I feel a bit uneasy about this. You know, I read that eastern countries have a tradition for boiling eggs in a hot spring water. Must be basically the same thing. No, we can't let it boil. I once tried a hot spring egg on my travels. It tasted amazing. You've tried one? Well, you know, I've been around. Really, I've been to so many places, but right now I'd love to hear about your travels, Sophia. It's fine with me, but... I'm shaking. Sizzling. Sister, the egg. Is it hatching? We did it at this rate. Look. A monster. What's it doing? Is it coming for the egg? Here it comes. Get ready. Everything is for the divine. Bye bye. Did we get it? There's more. They want the newborn chick. Sister, it's not safe. Get back. <clears throat> Get back. I won't let you steal it. Arg. Sophia. Ra. You, if you try and steal my book, you'll regret it for that alone. Ugh. Sister. You okay? It's nothing. But is the egg okay? Yes, but I'm more worried about you. I know the egg's important in getting the cannon, but it defeats a point if you die in the process. You've got to look after yourself, Sophia. I don't need to. I won't die. Huh? I won't die. No, I can't die until the flower growing in my eyes withers away. You can't die? What on earth is that flower? It's a flower from the now lost tree of eternity, a tree older than Nilba. It's said to be crystallized elements from ancient times, and I can live thousands of years with its power. Thousands of years? How could it be older than antiquity? There's only one way to use up this life, and the vast magic power I never asked for. Continuing to write the story using the flower magic as ink. Story. I used to write about my observations from my travels. It was a modest story just for me. But at some point my book was taken in by a religion and the story became distorted. Was that 
the shiny people. I, I went to get the book back from the people known as the shiny people, but instead they trapped me inside it. When I awoke, I was in a different era and they'd all long gone. But now there are some who have inherited their skills and seek to misuse them. So the hooded men were the descendants of the shiny people. I don't know what they were doing with the book and what their real intentions are. But they've been behind the rise and fall of so many lands working from the other side of history. It's them who trapped me and now my homeland. Unexpectedly all these tragedies were brought about by my book. Which is why I have to recover the book and make things right no matter what. So you originally wrote the canon and it's being misused. That's why you're so desperate to get it back. I'm sorry for not telling you. You don't need to apologize, but now I know. I'll do all I can to help you. You don't have to do this alone. You can count on me. Me too. You too. Huh? What was that? It's a dragon. It's the same mommy. Oh, it's a bird. Colorful. Is that the chick? What do we do if it gets any bigger? Mutsuru said it won't be an appropriate size to raise in Elzion. After thousands of years in that dark shell, it's finally free. Dropped a feather. Oh. What a beautiful feather. It is a feather. Shining in seven colors like a rainbow. Part of a legendary creature. We can take this back with us as treasure. This is your era. You must be there must be others like you out there. Well, let's get going. All for a feather. Great, now we've got some treasure. Let's head back to Mutsuru. Head back to Iota. Aldo goes to Mutsuru to get information on treasures when he hears about a strange plant. Good timing, I have some fresh information for you. Is it anything to do with yet another living thing? Perhaps, have you heard of a plant called demon firegrass? Demon firegrass? Never! So it's a plant, not a living thing? What are you on about? Plants are alive. Beyond all doubt, they're alive. Are you an advocate of plant discrimination? So sorry, that's not what I meant. So should I look into this look for this fire demon firegrass then? It's the seeds that have value as treasure. The seeds. Demon firegrass seeds give off heat, which is incredible. Place one in a room and it'll get as warm as you were basking in sunlight. The seeds are so famous, it's known as a sunshine seed, but it's rare and very hard to contain, obtain. The sunshine seed, do you know where I can find it? The airport. <laughs> the airport? That's surprising. The seeds are incredibly light, so sometimes they get caught in the wind and taken far away. I hear they often fall between the containers. Between the airport containers, noted. 
Ah, I nearly forgot. There's a lot of dangerous robots around there, so take care. I ended up getting chased by one when I was preoccupied, searching for seats. You ended up getting chased. So be careful while you search. Noted. Alright, this was a different one than the one I was going for. Hey, how's it going? Ah, there you are. How's the egg? Did it hatch? Yeah, take a look. Is this the feather of the creature that hatched from the egg? Oh, how beautiful. A bird with vibrant colors that is reborn within the flames of the volcano. Witnessed by time travelers. I'd have written the book about it if it were the old me. Sophia? I really wanted to see it for myself. But this feather is good enough. It proves that the legendary creature did really exist. I guarantee you that this will sell at a high price in the auction house. Thanks for the help. Alright, so, a team of scientists bought the feather. Apparently it was going to display it in their lab instead of using it for something. Either way, here's your take. This is amazing. We're a lot closer to getting the tome. To bid for that tome, we need 30,000 rock and a gold rank. We need 7,000 secret points to reach gold. I wish you good luck reaching that. Alright, airport for that other thing, right? Airport's not one of them, just to manually go there. Guess that's not the airport. Tell me which one to go to. We'll guess the I was right. I guess they didn't get to the airport. Yeah, I should have gone there. The sunshine seeds are caught in the wind and fall between the containers. Why don't we you have a look around? Yes, search here. Nothing here. No containers. Intruder alert, intruder alert, removal function activated. Guess I have to fight them. Alright, blokes, time for some good fun! Phew, I'm in for a bad time. I've gotta be careful if I don't get caught, dude, while I do this. Right, let's go to another area.
same thing. No one trigger alert? Okay. There's some containers. Ooh, that looks like a tiny seed. Could this be it? No, I've got to take the seed back to town. What? I can't escape. I'll have to defeat it and cut my way through. Alright, Blokes. Time for some good fun. Phew, I managed to defeat it. And I got the seed. Now I just need to get back to town. Good for that tome, we need more. 30,000, 7,000. Actually, pretty darn close. Oh, my kid.
Hi, I'm Toto. Welcome to the land of my dreams. How would you like to take part in a hunt for the hood and Totos? Sounds like fun, doesn't it? Take one of these. Various spots in the dreamland have been marked with a stamp in the shape of a charming, my charming noggin. You want to see what one looks like? Hey look, there's one on the fence just there. Oh my, and another one over here as well. Can you see it? On this fence. And check this out, another one. Wow. There are similar marks on the other fences. Those ones don't count. Oh, and none of the marks are the, are the attractions like the Haunted Chateau. So even scary cats can join in the fun. Find them, poke them, and tot them up on your tracker. Every five will earn you a prize. Come back to me and see a sparkling selection of goodies on offer. Don't forget to touch those marks I just showed you. They'll be your first two. Get out there and have a blast finding toes. If you want to see the other prizes, let me know. Nightwing Saber. 60. Weapons are always useful. I don't have very many good weapons. She's got a 60 katana. She's got a 60 charisma rod. She's got a 48 heavy axe. Why is she using Earth Spirit Axe? All this time I'm using a weak weapon. Ah, okay, so I need a bow right here. You need a bow. Fire Spirit Sword. It's even better. I think the bow is right now in the most interesting one. How about a hammer? Do we need a hammer? Yeah, we need a hammer. Here? No, I did not. Look for hidden Mickeys. Here oh, I I wrong army here. It was never in doubt. Got another one. All right, blokes, time for some good fun.
kill them all. Die. Yeah! Did I do good? You did great. I wonder if there are more games to say. Probably. They're probably everywhere. Fighting brings nothing but sorrow. Ha! Is that all you got? I haven't seen any in this area. Oh, take that back. Alright, we got five. Is that a magic number? It confirmed it. Target confirmed it. Die. Everything is for the divine. Die. Should I fight that thing? Sounds like a resounding yes. Are we really going to fight that? Yeah! Well, the prayer is ripped. Did I do good? Lucky hoof. Mm -hmm. Faded armor. All right, Blacks, time for some good time. Blacksmith from Party. Everything okay. is for the divine.
Leave no one left alive. Take them. <laughs> Mission complete. Target confirmed it. <laughs> Mission complete. Does mean anything? How many do I have to get to get something? Target confirmed it in. It was never in doubt. I look for a hidden one there. Confirmed it. In. Uh, not even worth mentioning. <laughs> All right, this one allowed me to exchange him. Parasol, saber, axe, sword, parasol, lollipopper, hammer, staff, lucky puncher. Whatever she had. What do you call this one? Striker? Also, here is all bow. Saber is a type of sword. Parasol. Try a lollipop right here. It is. it is a bow. Hey, I got right. Much better. And with a weird effect. And 
the hit things in here too. How do you do something else first? I want to try out the copper. I was tired of practicing. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to try out the hell I thought that. Was never in doubt. Still looking for those little. How you been? How you been? <laughs> Good to see you. I'm doing very well. Having a good weekend. Getting doing well in this game. Uh, getting pretty far. Uh, it's like a cat game. Time travel. Pretty fun. I'm exploring this new area. They have this little uh, look for like hidden Mickey's, but look for these little cat picture things. I'm trying to see if there's any around here. There's like real ones, but I don't see any fake ones around here. Kill them all. <laughs> Mission complete. How are you doing? Yeah, it is neat. It is fun. It's a very creative uh, RPG. I'm going to try over the outdoor area again. Maybe the Dreamland area. Ah, uh, okay. So we were already here earlier. Kind of comb this place. See these little hidden thingies, that's what I was looking for. This spot's been registered on your chart. It's already got you. That's good, I'm glad you're doing it. Say your prayers! Not that it'll help you! <laughs> I'm excited for the uh, NBA playoffs tonight. I'm a big Phoenix Suns fan. I've also been gardening a lot. If I get one of my cats to come by, it, look, it looks like they jumped off of the camera. I had the camera set up on that chair and they, they seem to have moved. 
If I get another one, I'll, I'll bring it bring it to the camera. You can look. I have two orange kitties. One's kind of orange and white. I mean, orange and white one's named Pumpkin. And the other one is Firecracker, the regular all orange one. They're both very misbehaved lately. This one is Pumpkin right here. He's the most creative. He jumps super high. I have like lots of little cat videos on YouTube of him just jumping up and pawing at the window. He jumps extremely high. He's extremely calm, not afraid of anything. And he's really nice, really friendly. And we call it all kinds of nicknames like Cotton Belly and... <laughs> yeah, super friendly. He gets along with everybody. Except for other kitties, he's a little bit territorial, but he gets along with people, which is the most important part. He's like, this is nighttime. I want to go back to sleep. <laughs> Do you pronounce it Felicita or Felicite? I've seen lots of words spelled differently. Or Felicity. Felicite. <laughs> Felicite? Okay. I'll try to say it right next time. Thanks. Oh, there's one over here in the pole. Hidden Toto. If I get enough of these, they give me really useful weapons. Oh, there's one right here. It's like carved in. Start the ambush. Probably got them all because it's exactly 50. Do you know more vegetable gardening or plants and flowers? Hmm, I think more plants and flowers, but we do try to do vegetable growing. We have a vegetable garden and we have a tower garden. The vegetable garden's in the ground, it's like a raised bed, and then we have a tower garden where we have lots of more vegetables. The tower garden probably puts out the most number of them, but on the ground we've also got a whole bunch of them. So um, we also, in the last year, put up a fence around the vegetable garden because the deer used to eat them like crazy. So we put this fence around it and now the plants actually get to grow pretty well. Now we just have to fight against the bugs. The bugs won't like to eat it, so you have to keep an eye on it and keep track of them and stuff like that. But we, our number one plant is irises. We got six irises or three irises, say like five years ago. And every year they keep doubling and doubling and doubling. And now we have over 200 irises around our yard. These are mostly purple but or, or red irises, like southern irises. Really cool looking. They're everywhere. But we've got like dozens of other kinds of flowers too. Yeah, they are pretty. And, and the... The coolest thing is we got frogs that like them and other cool critters like them too. Like, um, well, deer like them also, but we have so many now. So, yeah, it, it is beautiful. Definitely. With the fruits and vegetables, it's hit, hit or miss. Some years we get a lot, like some years we get a lot of tomatoes. Some years we get a lot of cucumbers. It all just kind of varies. Um, you know, pick a, a basic vegetable. Some years that's good, some years it's not. It's sort of luck. Uh, we just grow a couple of each one, and if they do well, they do really well. If they don't, they, you know. It's hard because um, wasps and other creatures 
build their eggs and then the caterpillars, like the hornworms, they eat everything. So you have to like, it's a race between you and the bugs, you know, whether you can squash the bugs faster than they eat all the plants. So you just have to keep running around and keeping an eye on them. But it's fun, gardening's fun. I think we got them all, because it was exactly 15, that's probably the max, that's probably all of them. So we should turn them in, and then go on to some other quest. Uh, I think that it was back at the beginning, let's just take a short bit. Oh, the, that's right, bees like uh, viruses. You know, we try to have bees and stuff like that, because we need more bees. Okay, so they gave me... It looks like I spent five on the previous weapon. That's the, the lollipop one was the one I wanted. I already claimed that one. We got Lucky Puncher, Staff. I, I guess I could use pretty much any kind of weapon. I'll try Staff one. Maybe that would be cool. And then the last one. We could do Saber, Axe, Sword, Parasol, Trust Hammer, Lucky Puncher. Let me see who needs a weapon. None of these people need a weapon. How about... She needs a hammer, I think. She's gonna need a hammer very soon. Let's get a hammer. Cool. All right, let's find another quest. Song of Sword and Wings of Lost Paradise. Did they give enough points to get all the things or just something? It looks like they, they gave me enough to get three out of them. Three out of the five. I looked at the weapons on most of the people, they had the same level weapon already, so I was just looking for weapons I didn't have the Mac, the best weapon for at the time, so level 60 weapons in this case. Yeah, I can't get every single one, but there's so many other versions of things that give out good weapons and events and stuff, so um, pretty easy to get the best weapons. It's the uh, armor and the, and the other stuff that's like harder to find. This is, listens to the voices of the silent. A mysterious figure appears before the winged child as she prays to her god. Where is this place he seeks? What voice could be calling for help? The story of the sword and wing comes to light in the western lands. Will their journey be a path to their god, or is it something else? Dereez Mohair. Okay. Okay. They're sending me to possible palace. This is not Dries Mahara. It's out there. There, this is Dries Mahara. I guess that was the closest spot to it. Okay, let's try this. Hmm. Yet another long day of adventures. These legs don't hop just like they used to. I know what you mean. My dogs are barking, but the inn here smells like sweaty guys. Totally not cool with me. Oh, is there something troubling you, Eldo? Yeah, sorry guys, but I got something I gotta do. You guys go on ahead to the palace and I'll catch up later. Obfuscation detected. Scanning Eldo's behavior. Complete processing results. Double secret rendezvous predicted. Aldo, how could you? Like a secret date, huh? You think Aldo's capable of that? You've been reading too many tabloids, Rika. Your conclusion has merit. Sorry for doubting you, Aldo. 
I'm not sure whether to be relieved or angry. As for me, I will take the offer and rest these legs. Don't overdo things, Aldo. Well then, I should get going. I've been here so many times, but it never fails to impress me. Go forward to my time and this should be about where Moonlight Forest is. Maybe that's why I feel at home here. What do we have here? I never imagined something else would be wandering around this place. And you are freezing cold. It's snowing or backwards snowing. My name's Shaney. You might as might call me a traveling swordsman. Hi Meldo. Like you, I'm traveling around on a journey. Well, isn't that a coincidence, Aldo? I guess a little time will be alright. At least I hope so. What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Don't mind what I said. Sorry, did I interrupt your walk? Don't worry about it. I was just surprised to see anyone else out here. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Would you mind if I got a little closer? I guess it couldn't hurt. Why, thank you. So then, Aldo, you look like you have a lot on your mind. Just imagine I'm your big sister, and you can tell me anything, okay? Do I really look so troubled? But you know, you're right about that. I came here to get away and think things over. Hehe, <laughs> I knew it! Whenever I come here, I feel calm. It feels like I'm being embraced by the four great elementals. Is that right? Well, in my case, I came here to feel closer to someone. This person, are they someone really important to you? Yeah, someone who I can't meet just yet. I'd do anything to it took to help this person, but I just don't know how. What's this person's name? What? The person you want to save. What's their name? Eden. I see. I hope you'll find a way. But why would coming here make you feel closer to him? Um, it's hard to explain. Inside his body is something sim similar to the pieces of the four great elementals found here. That's weird I'm looking for Eden, because in the regular story, Eden already died. <laughs> I think they're mixing up the stories here. And so, for some reason, I feel like I'm closer to him here. But it's not really him. I wish to save him. But at the same time, I want to save other people too, as many as I possibly can. I just can't put everything on hold and focus on saving Eden. But that means I keep getting sidetracked. I don't know if I'll ever get to save him. I feel so helpless sometimes. But while I say that, when I come here, I feel like as though I can confront these feelings. No matter what it takes, I will save Eden someday. And that will never change. I guess that's why I made an effort to come here from time to time. I see. Mind telling me more about him? If it's not too hard, I mean. It's okay, so where do I start? Some days ago in the Western Lands. Period. Paradise is lost. I suppose I've committed an irredeemable sin.
Yet I have no regrets. I saved who I had to, I killed who I must, I freely made my own decisions. This is what the bishop spoke about. It's a funny looking cat. He picked me up in front of the statue and... Let me rephrase that. He told me I had descended from the sky as a baby, and then was drawn to this statue here. He must have been exaggerating though. But what if I were truly the winged child? The one capable of becoming the winged being? Oh lord, the sword-wielding savior, answer me, please. You left us your blessings in a, on this perishing land, this western land where, before you came, there was nothing more than an empty wasteland. It once again needs a savior. Oh, how ridiculous. I know praying is meaningless. It is known our god resides in the sea with him. Let's go, Noah. The ship is waiting for us. Now that I've done with the paperwork and meetings, we can return to our mission on the central continent. Yep. It must be a robot cat. Said Blip. What? What's this like? No, it can't be. Ah! Somebody just fell down from the sky. Oh no, the statue of the savior. Bleep. Blip. Bleep. Is that a person? Shaped like a person? Hmm. I guess nothing should shock me now. Hey, you, wake up. Ugh. Urgh. Where am I? Are you actually alive? Stay still or you might hurt yourself. This, I recognize this voice. Could it be? Melina? What's that? You know my name? Have we met before? <clears throat> Indeed I do. Though it was so long ago. It's no wonder you don't remember. Hold on a minute. What are you saying? Why are you acting up like you know me from long before? You from long before? Haha, <laughs> yeah, something like that. I'm Clart. I'm your... <sighs> Bart, I knew it. You're her, aren't you? No, it's the voice. What voice? What's with the commotion? Hey, I recognize them. Isn't that Rosetta? Yeah, Fry and Rosetta. Ah, it's Sister Melina. I mean, please accept my apologies for my rudeness. Hmm? What happened to the statue of the sword-wielding savior? Well, well. Could this be this one be the culprit? Perhaps some time in the aired interrogation room will enlighten us. To what happened? She's an interrogator. He's like a bishop. Wait, you two. Clart. Was it there are voices you heard? No, it wasn't them. The voice. It's calling to me. Clart. He'd just gone up and left us. Oh dear, I hadn't even started my... Enhanced question. He is quite the odd one. Let's go after him. He's up to something. The 
The voice must be coming from that. Why would it be calling to me? Hang on. I've heard this before. Wait, Clark. Oh, Melina, you came after all. It's not like I came here for you. Haha, <laughs> that's fine, but more importantly, there is a voice calling to me from inside. It sounds as though it's calling for help. The voice is coming from in here? This is the door that leads to the Crystalline Tower. What is the Crystalline Tower you speak of? Oh, our god descended it to, the poor, to our poor lands, bringing blessings for us all. Since that day, these, those blessings have been bestowed upon us from within the Crystalline Tower. A voice is calling for you. If what you say is right, then I may be the bearer of bad news. What do you mean? It is said that this door only opens from for those from a specific bloodline. Basically, I'm saying we can't help you open the door. That bloodline is known as the Tower Defenders, and it's their role to receive the gods' blessings. Only they are allowed to enter the tower. I've heard that they receive the blessings at the top of the tower. Let's keep this between us, but... We've received fewer and fewer blessings lately. It could be the legacy of our god in its going away. There are rumors that the new tower defender is up to no good. Sister Rosetta, please don't tell me, don't tell me it so. You don't believe such blasphemous rumors, do you? You are an inquisitor after all. I would never. It's just this talk about the voice reminded me of some suspect rumors that I heard. Clark? Whoa. He opened the door. That means he's of the bloodline. That's so weird. Never expected that. By the light. The door, it opened. Perfect. Now we can proceed. Well, well. What a surprise this is. I didn't know you were one of the Tower Defenders, Clark. I'm not. I'd never heard of the term before you mentioned it. It's impossible. I've seen the current Tower Defender in person. And I've heard that the others of that line have passed on. But then, how can you explain what we just saw? I don't know. Either way, this is our chance to find out. Rosetta? Tee <laughs> never mind. This is the source of the light's blessings. Isn't that right, Melina? Voice or no voice, it doesn't change the fact that fewer blessings are coming from inside. We may never get another chance to investigate inside the crystalline tower. You're right. However, entering the Crystalline Tower without permission from the Tower Defender is an unforgivable ta taboo. Don't be ridiculous. He wouldn't give us permission even if we asked. That just proves why we absolutely should not proceed. Aren't you going to say something, Sister Molina? <laughs> of course, Rosetta is correct. You must be joking. Have you forgotten our mission, Pry? We are to save this western wasteland. This is an opportunity that we cannot ignore. Even if it means putting my position within the church on the line. Oof. Understood. I, Pry, shall follow you wherever you go, as it 
as the most senior one here in age, I cannot ignore this matter. There we go. Do you mind if the three of us come with you? Haha, <laughs> it's fine, the more the merrier. Do not misunderstand me. It just happens that we have a common interest right now. There are still many questions I need answered. Once this is all over, we are going to have a long talk. I see no problem with that. Well then, shall we enter the tower now? The voice surely came from the higher levels. I suggest we make our way to the top. I can't believe my eyes, but those people just entered the tower. I must tell the tower defender about this. Search the top of the tower. Blepple. What is this? I see. So you were the one crying out for help. What is this thing? It appears to be chained down. This doesn't look like a sacred place where you could receive the grace of God. I see, so that's it. Are you listening? You might not believe this, but... This is your God. What the... Uh-oh, Clark. Better watch your mouth. You're going to have to persecute you as a heretic if you keep it up. That's right, there's no way our God would ever be in a place like this. He's in the ocean of the soul. That's why we are in such a frenzy looking for it. That's right. And he wouldn't look like this. He wouldn't be chained up as if his power was being drained from him against his will. I leave it up to you to believe me or not. He must be in pain. Let's free him immediately. That's not happening. Urgh. They've chained him. Temper. Phew, as usual, the dirty work falls to me. Not even the special allowance is worth the trouble. Jeez. Clark. A tower defender? No, it's Johan. You, do you have any idea what you have done? Unfortunately, I do. I've heard it so much from the ears that my ears can bleed. Urgh. Now I think it's time to admit that Clark might be right. Yes, he's right. What he says is mostly true. That thing gives birth to God's blessings. Though I've personally never thought of it as a god. I still can't get a handle on the situation here. But it seems like there's no need to hold back against you. Behold. Behold? It would be a waste to spend time doing that. Impossible, all of us, so quickly. Because I detect decided to do it without a moment's notice. As you can see, you guys are overwhelmingly larger in number. Each person's magic, strength, energy, all greater than mine. Ah, uh, but there is one thing that can give me a boost. The number of people you picked up. Numbers kill hesitation. That's enough for me to read. What have you done to Molina? Oh jeez, 
Don't glare at me like that, okay? I'm just doing my job after all. They saw the top. They can't go home alive. The winged child and the ch child of judgment. There are no exceptions to this rule. Oops. I did something wrong. Bell's chain was a miscalculation. If this is the punishment for my sins, I'll accept it. But because of me, Melina and her friends got involved. I can't have all these innocent girls. I have a limited power a limited amount of power left. Still. Now, okay. That no obstacles remain. Give it to me slowly. Is the chain on that arm the same as L's chain? So does that mean it was inevitable that you opened the door to of the tower? Why is it connected to that? And how did it break into pieces? These are things I must know. Wait, what are you doing? You're glowing a bright color. The light is too bright. Please get through for everyone's sake. Dot 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 Art. Art short for Clark. Wait, Clark. You're in the zone. We're all still alive. Huh? You went quiet all of a sudden. Were you going inside the crystalline tower? Weren't you going inside the crystalline tower? This is before we went into the tower. We went back in time? Did some power save us? If you've suddenly got cold feet, then the rest of us will go without you. Uh, um... Don't do it. This isn't good. I can't let them get involved in this again. That Johan guy... He's not someone I can take while worrying about others around. This is something I'll have to do on my own. I'll have to save their god in the crystalline tower. We should tread carefully. We don't want anyone to see us. Deep. Huh? What is it? Rabbits have good ears. Maybe he heard footsteps. Oh, he's a rabbit. Rabbits? He's a kitty. That's nothing. Let's go where Noah told us to go. We might find somebody there. Alright, Western Mythos, about Chapter 1. This is Clark, who was restored by a mysterious power. Western Mythos in Chapter 1 take control of Clark in the Gewurz Church Headquarters. He'll search the church for a way to save Molina and others. Alright, so there, and it tells me where to go, so I'm not going to be stuck and not know where to go. So I'll go ahead and put a cut in the video for now and I'm gonna go see if anyone else is streaming and we can go raid somebody. <laughs> it's Friday. It's kind of a flip a coin whether we see anybody. We've got... I see a bunch of people on. Let's go Let's go ahead with uh, Tyler Salt. He's in a tournament. So let's go ahead and raid him again. Alright. Enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining. Have a wonderful weekend.